Now, today, Liz Truss faces her second ever Prime Minister's questions amidst a tricky political and economic background. The Office for National Statistics, of course, today revealed that the economy contracted in August, the month before the Prime Minister took office. To some, this demonstrates Tory mismanagement of the economy. To others, it shows the need for a radical change, a break with orthodoxy, what some might call a growth plan. And the pound has been bouncing around too. Last night, a fall. This morning, a slight recovery. All back to where it was yesterday morning at $1.10. Also today, the Chancellor is in Washington, D.C. And the Prime Minister faces her backbenches in a meeting of the 1922 committee later this afternoon. There's so much to discuss, from the supply-side reform agenda to market volatility and, of course, the looming 31st of October Halloween fiscal statement. And perhaps of most concern for Tory MPs, it is, of course, the state of the polls. And who better to discuss the state of the polls now by, uh, than Sir John Curtis, Professor Sir John Curtis, Professor of Politics at the University of Strathclyde, of course. Um, I suppose, first of all, let's get a broad understanding of where we are. Uh, we get very excited by some of these polls that show Labour are oh, 35 points ahead, others showing them only 20 points ahead. I, I suppose the average is somewhere between. Yeah, uh, sure, of course. One of the first rules of journalism is, is, is the exception is always used to try to prove the rule, which, of course, is not necessarily the best way of evidencing things. If you take the seven polls that have been conducted since the closure of the Conservative conference... In the middle of last week, we're looking at Labour 51, Conservative 24. So, you know, we're looking at a 27-point Labour lead. So it's not far off the, <laughs> the, the 30 points, even you know, mm. on the average across those polls. Now, that compares with a nine-point Labour lead as of immediately before the fiscal statement. So basically, since the fiscal statement, what now, two and a half weeks or so ago, we've seen a 9% swing from Conservative mm. to Labour because the Conservatives are down by 8, Labour up by 10. Mm. So it's a 9% it's a nine percent swing. Now, uh, you were talking a little bit earlier to, towards the back end of the previous programme about the um, ERM crisis yes. that Wednesday, which, of course, was the last time a Conservative administration got into trouble with the financial markets. Now, that also cost the Conservatives badly, and indeed it could cost the Conservatives in a way from which they never subsequently recovered. But mm -hmm. just to give you some idea of the scale of what's happened, uh, even in the wake of the financial uh, difficulties of 1992, the swing against the Conservatives after a month, not after a fortnight, was of the order of seven and a half points. So this mm -hmm. is at least on this scale, probably more, and certainly uh, more speedy, uh, than what even happened in 1992. 